this is a video to uh, tell you guys why you need compressed air on site. I mean, it's it's a game changer, especially if you're cleaning parts or anything like that. Got a little Milwaukee heated wear on. Sporting some logo stuff too. <laughs> but uh, anyway, compressed air is, is super to have on site, especially with sawdust because when you go to change a part or you go to clean something, uh, it's extremely hard to keep the dust out of it or away from it. Um, but I'll show you guys just a couple of things. Uh, for instance, it would be super handy to have. For instance, this front main seal is leaking on this motor, as you can see. I need to change it and waiting on the seal to come in. Motor has about uh, uh, 2,500 to 3,000 hours. Pretty common thing at those hours on these motors, or it seems like me and my dad have had three of them and uh, a couple other guys we know have had them. But uh, anyway, just for instance, if you're, you're gonna change that seal, you know, you'd have to wipe all that off, clean it up, but I can just take this right here and Look how quick it blows that off there. I'm not gonna try to get up in there and blow that all off right now, but you know, even on your hydraulic hoses, if you had to change one, look at that. You can clean everything up just within an instant. A lot of times you'll get debris down in here and every evening I try to spray those with WD-40. Uh, it just makes it so much easier just to blow around them in the evenings. Um, it doesn't take a real huge compressor. Uh, you're looking at, you know, between $200 and $400 for a decent size compressor. <clears throat> and that'll do the work for this right here. But, I mean, it just, you, know, you can clean up stuff so easy.